Well, what, what, what you have seen is that there might have been a reduction in the growth rate of emission. Uh, we have not stopped emission. Uh, human activities still emit a lot of uh, greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And you see, when you emit uh, CO2, it stays about a quarter is absorbed by the ocean, about a quarter is absorbed by the biomass, and about 50% stays in the atmosphere. Now this 50% which stays in the atmosphere is there for decades. Actually, the, the residence time of CO2 in the atmosphere is more in centuries than in, uh, than in decades. So even though the, uh, the rate of emission may be a bit, <laughs> a bit it may be increasing a bit less than, than before, it still means that we inject even more CO2 in the atmosphere. So unless we not only do that, but reduce significantly the emission, it will not be possible to stay under the two degree threshold. So yes, it's better, it could have been worse, but it's far, far from enough to keep under, under two degrees. So we should not give the sort of uh, um, we, we should not have the illusion that, yes, now we don't have to worry any longer. Yes, I'm still worry, worried because we still emit significant amount and year after year, and this is what WMO is uh, monitoring on a regular basis, we break new records of concentration of greenhouse gases. A few months ago, we published the very latest news and once again, we have reached the highest level ever of uh, concentration for CO2, for methane, for nitrous oxide and, and quite a few others. So, no, the news are not yet good news. Only if we come to a, a good, strong, ambitious agreement in Paris.